I wanted to talk tonight about being productive because this is something that I think is missing in our lives. And we look at the swirling things around us and we look at the stimulus, we look at television, we look at, you know, the internet. And um, it's, uh, it, it's distracting, right? The games on your phone. And, you know, I got them on my phone. You know when I play the games on my phone? When I'm sitting in the makeup chair and I can't do anything else. Um, or I'll read a book. Like if I, if I, I read a ton, I watch documentaries as much as I can, um, but I physically can't, I'm limited by the things I can do because of the makeup, um, the glue, so, um, you know, it, it's just an odd thing. So really the only time that I'll play a game on my phone is when I can't do anything else and I want to pass some time sitting in a makeup chair. If I've done reading a book, I don't have anything at that moment. And to just like get my brain out of whatever's going on. But it is not, uh, it's not something that consumes me. I know people that, and I was guilty of it. I used to, when I was on tour with uh, Camelot, I got an Xbox. It was just me. You know, I didn't have, my family wasn't there with me. So we got an Xbox. And when I started using that Xbox, I never left the hotel. I would, I would go do the show, come back, get on the Xbox, play the games, and, and, and I started my productivity sank. It went straight into the toilet. And, and I knew it, and so I stopped it. Um, so when I talk about being productive, and I talk about making your life about the message that you want, to, want it to be, the life that you want to live, you know, there are these great motivational people, Tony Robbins, uh, Tim Story, who I told you guys about, I posted Tim's, uh, some stuff Tim was doing with Oprah, a couple, I think it was a couple of years ago, on Soul Sunday. Um, you got Lewis Howes, you got Grant Cardone. Look, all, they're all very, very different in their approach. But here's the thing that I, I realized about them. And uh, Tim Grover, another one. They walk the life that they want to live, if that makes sense. So, you know, it's, it's very easy to buy into a program and you know not only financially buy into it but emotionally buy into a program or a, a path right and you buy into it and you're you know you're doing it and then you just sort of oh yeah so it's great right and maybe you read one book or you read a couple chapters and then you sort of put it down and you forget about it and your life goes and things hit you and you were doing awesome when you were working on all that kind of stuff sorry guys it's a little it's humid because it was pouring down rain here crazy by the way there's my laughing dog media Hats I got while ago. It's my production company. I love that logo. Uh, thanks, my friend, Rosalinda. Um, but it's so easy to forget, right? It's so easy to let the external forces back in. And then all of those great things that you're working on and, and focusing on in your life to make better sort of slip away. So I'm going to challenge you guys because uh, I can guarantee you guys watch YouTube you know, most of you, instead of going and just looking at the negative crap, look at the positive stuff. Because I was, I was talking to one of my stage managers, Jim, awesome guy, and he goes, I said, what'd you do? He goes, I was watching YouTube. And you get into these chains on YouTube, right? One video leads to another, leads to another, leads to another, right? So if you get into that, and you're going to watch that, be productive about it. Pick positive stuff that is inspiring and uplifting to you. And then get into a chain of watching those over and over and over again, right? I personally don't really do that. I mean, I shouldn't say, let me, let me clarify. I'll watch videos, but I don't get into sitting and watching YouTube and just getting caught. Up. To me, it's a, it is a waste of time because there are other things that I can be doing that are positive. But if you are going to do that and you find yourself doing that or stuck somewhere watching these videos or with time to kill, Try looking at things that are positive. Try looking at videos that are uplifting, spiritually, physically, financially, emotionally, you know, whatever it is to you that is positive, and keep that chain going, right? I can't tell you how many times people have come up to me, and I've talked about this, say, oh my gosh, did you hear about blah, blah, blah? Did you read blah, blah, blah? Did you hear the blah, 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 blah? And I'm like, no, no. Or if I have, I'm like, yeah, heard it, thanks. What, what ends up happening with that stuff 
is it, it's, it's, it's a consuming effort to take people off of what their, what their game is. And what I mean by that is, why am I going to focus on something negative or some sort of gossip or some sort of, you know, idiocy that has no bearing on my life? I don't want that in my life. It's not going to come in my life. If it comes in my life, it is gone instantly, you know? Um, I urge you guys, if you haven't done so, I think you can get um, I think you can get a couple of the videos individually from the 10X Growth Con. And Grant's wife, Elena Cardone, spoke. Uh, it's the 10X Growth Con, for those of you guys who didn't know that I spoke at in Miami, where I met Tim Story, uh, Damon John spoke, Grant Cardone spoke. I mean, these amazing people. I was like, what am I doing here speaking? Lewis Howe. You know, I was like low man on a totem pole with these guys. Um, but Elena, Grant's wife, said something very interesting. Brett, hey Brett, Brett was there. He will remember this. Brett Coffey. Brett, you remember when Elena spoke about she and Sherry Hamilton, who is Grant's uh, right hand in the company, they're like snipers and spotters, right? Finding the people that are a negative influence, and sometimes it's very hard to see, and picking them off. And, you know, jokingly, publicly beheading them. And it, this is not... Now, listen. I'm not saying this as a literal thing. It's a figurative. Meaning firing them, right? This is what she said. Firing them in, in a way that people understand that they are not welcome in this business, in this realm. Because the negative people have an impact not just on the people around them, but they have an impact on the business as a whole. Same goes true with your life. Same goes true with what you're watching on television. Same goes true with what you're reading in the, in the newspaper and all that kind of crap, right? And all that kind of crap. Um, you need to keep, keep, keep that positive stuff going. Thank you, Brett. Um, so I would just encourage you again to take a look at the stuff that you're allowing into your life and let it be productive stuff. Don't let it be distracting stuff. And yeah, look, you want to play your game, play your game. You know, you want to watch a funny cat video? Yeah, but guess what? Even funny cat videos are uplifting, you know? They're uplifting. You know, when I put stuff and my, my, my team puts stuff on, my, on my, my social media channels, it's always an uplifting story. Always. Because that inspires me. That We put that one up of that, that young kid who um, had lost his sight and was able to see again. And he sang, uplifting when he opened his mouth and sang. Holy mackerel, right? That to me is inspiration. It's, it's, it's overcoming adversity. I watched another one the other day where this girl was literally, she was deaf. She lost her hearing when she was 18, you know? So she had hearing up till she was 18 and then she slowly lost her hearing, it deteriorated. Yet she was up there singing, but she was deaf. Talk about tenacity, talk about overcoming things. It was unbelievable. Those things to me are what I want in my life. And I would encourage you to do the same thing. Okay. I, have, I got a couple minutes until I have to get off. So let me see if I can answer any, any questions real quick. Um, Star. Oh, Star was at the show tonight. Thank you, Star. That was very kind of you. Um, unbelievably wonderful. You saw that girl. Oh, yeah, the girl that sang who was deaf. Yeah. Um, the inner circle. Sorry, going back and reading. I just want to make sure I'm good time-wise here. Let's see. Sorry, I'm reading, guys. Um, being about focusing in anything that you want, wish, or like, positive light. Maybe you like movies. Totally, Zion. Um, uh, let's see. Brian Cruz, I want to apply to Juilliard instead of watching movies. On my time off, I'm going to focus on monologues. T totally. Look, Juilliard is one of those schools that if you get in, you have that mafia, right? I was just talking to Star about this at the stage door, right? I, I auditioned for many, many grad programs, got into a few, and then went, you know what? I started working. And, uh, and for me, it was, it was about working versus, you know, the education. There, there's networks that come out of Juilliard, NYU, those things. But focus on what you want your goal to be. Go work for it because no one else is going to do it for you. You're not going to walk into the room and all of a sudden you have these great monologues. And remember that you're up against people who are amazingly talented, right? Sorry if it's windy, guys. Um, let's see. <laughs> Guilty, yeah. <laughs> I saw that. 
Be honest. I'm going backwards, so um, uh, see it, see it, see it. Reading, reading, reading. Sorry, guys. What does being productive mean to me, Laura? I, I, I sort of said that. I, I, I work continually, and even if I'm not working to generate income, I'm working to make my family better. Um, I'm putting positive things in my life continually. I'm removing the negative things, which can be very difficult. I'm literally like cutting negative stuff out of my life that, that, uh, that doesn't work on a continual basis and putting positive stuff in. Um, do I do stage door pictures and autographs? Yeah, of course. Walk out of the show. All right. All right, guys. I'm going to have to end off on this one. Uh, I'm in the negative on his life is people, and it's so hard to leave the negative people behind. Yeah, Courtney, that, that's, that's an interesting thing. People can be negative, but you also have to remember that it all starts with you, right? At the end of the day, we are all responsible for what goes on in our life, right? We are responsible for the choices, the things that happen to us. Guess what? We're responsible. We are putting ourselves in a situation to allow that to happen, right? So figure out what it is that you can do in your life to change that perspective, and and slowly things will change. But, but look at who makes you uncomfortable. Look at who is negative to you. And if you can have a good conversation and say, hey, you know what, that makes me feel this way. And I, I understand you might look at it a different way, but I would appreciate it if you, you, know, you, you, didn't, you weren't so, and, and sometimes when you say things like weren't so negative, people take it as, a, as an attack. So I would say, I would appreciate it if you could maybe support me in this way, rather than calling attention to them being negative. Does that make sense? All right, guys, I got to sign off. Uh, Happy, happy week. Remember, start your week. Be productive. It's going to be exciting. Follow those things that make you happy and follow those things that inspire you. Have a great, great week. And uh, sign up for the newsletter, jamesbarber.com. Share the stream. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.